we did a podcast before. It wasn't my podcast, it was Tam. And I think we we're kind of having a little debate about this stuff, right? Yeah. Back then we were talking, would Andrew Tate ever settle with one woman and purely one woman and just never like mess around with other women? No, I will never do that. Oh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't settle with one, purely one. Well, you'll have one that you super care about. You'll have one which is the queen. You'll have one which has your family. You'll have one which is going to be above all others. You'll have one that you adore. Yeah. But it could be the same with cars. I could have one I truly love and I could just pick up another one for a spin. What's your opinion on, like, I'd like to know my sister's opinion on this topic because this is obviously something that I guess she just wants to stay quiet I mean, about right now. What do you think? Andrew Tate says men can have more than one woman and this is a norm and this is how it should I be. I think it's obviously something that should be first discussed like with the girl initially. Like, I mean, I personally- Hi, Andrew, I'm the girl. I don't want you to have more than one girl. So no, but that's the thing. If he, if they don't, if like, Yo, be That's, honest, because my sister has very strong opinions about so this off camera. Very, um, but then when I, I told her, I was like, Andrew's going to come here and you're just not going to say it. So my main thing, and uh, like when I look for someone is loyalty and trust. Like it just... I can't like if there's no loyalty and trust and like look that's the thing um, I would obviously ask these questions um, like in the beginning so to clear it up and I think that's what it is. No, like, it wouldn't work that way because no man's going to sit there and say yeah I'm going to cheat on you. So you can't have discussions about it. And I understand you look for loyalty and I agree you should have a man who's loyal to you, but men show loyalty in different ways than women. Women show, lo show loyalty through sexual exclusivity. Men don't show loyalty that way. Men show loyalty in a bunch of other ways. One of them's financial. The other is taking care of the woman. The fact that I would have a woman that I pay her bills, take care of her, give her a sheltered life, spoil her, look after her, try and make her smile, give her all these things, put her on private jets, take her around the world and make sure that she's happy in nearly all realms with no concerns, that's loyalty. Uh, just because I spend a night with one random chick every once in a while does not mean I'm not loyal to her. Whereas a woman is the completely opposite way. Men for the longest period of human history have not been sexually exclusive. And now we're living in a world where we pretend it's normal for men to be sexually exclusive. They never have been. So. And we're also in a part of the world now where most men have more than one wife. So it's kind of interesting to see. Do you think that's okay, about. Lana? I mean, I don't think like all guys are like that. Of course, because you can get a Nissan. Isn't it great how life goes full circle? Yeah. You can get a nice, reliable Nissan. Nobody wants the Nissan but you, because to you it's trusty and old. It's got a bit of rust, but it's okay. But guess what happens when you're a Ferrari? Everybody wants to spin. That's life. That's life. And if you're going to be with a top tier male, you're going to have to accept. If you're going to be with one of the best men on the planet, the most desirable men on the planet, who fixes all of your problems, who's hyper competent, who can get all of the things that you need done, done, who excites you, who's interesting, who's spontaneous, who takes you nice places. You're never bored to spend time with him. You're never bored in bed with him. He never lets you down. You're going to have to accept that this man is going to eventually, over a long enough time period, occasionally do some extracurricular activity. And you're just going to have to accept it and get over it and ignore it. Because that's what happens yeah, when you have okay, a top tier okay. male. Okay, here, here. One, look, listen. First off, if I were to agree on something polygamous, it would be in the sense that the guy would have them like the four wives, right? Okay? But I won't agree on a guy being like with 20, 30 girls, like outside of being like serious. You know what I mean? So I don't think like... I mean, I've seen from uh, previous like people that I know, like they sort of like the lady knows that the guy is with so and so, so he already knows like the girls, and they already been uh, sort of introduced because he sort of lets her know. But I just don't. I personally, as a woman, I don't like having like unknown like guy no, with I'll, I'll millions you, of people. Andrew said this know? to me last time. He said, "Listen, if I'm a high value man." that even i'm not going to tell my woman but she's not dumb enough to not know that i'm not messing around with but, other women. but like with a million people like, i just think like, there mean, should be a limit to things like, i think it's very unhealthy everything if you do too much of it in life it becomes very do, unhealthy. do you think that makes andrew a bad person i'm not here to judge him only god judge can me. judge him judge no me. i i would like okay I based on him god saying listen i will judge. never be fully and utterly loyal to my girl judge but, me does that make him bad i mean did you tell your girl that? no he won't are you not honest with your girl? No, but okay, okay, okay. So let's 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 stay here for one thing at a time. Firstly, I want to destroy the uh, the myth of females pretending they want honesty because 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 they don't. So th when you're honest with women, you get just headache on both sides. They don't want honesty. When you come to a woman with with honesty, it, it's just it, it it they're not ready to handle it. They are not prepared for it, and it also lowers your status as a man. I don't have to sit there and say, "Hey, I'm going to do this." Da da da. The point is this. The point is this. Every king, every sultan, every sheikh since the dawn of human time had more than one woman. All of them. Every single one, always. That's all been, all of recorded history and the modern world. So to sit and come along and say that king level men, not Joe Schmo, king level men 
are going to be stuck with one woman and they're not allowed to do anything else outside of it ever is garbage. If you go and you actually experience time with top tier males, if you go hang around with a Russian oligarch or you go hang around with the richest guy in Bangkok or you hang around with anybody anywhere on the planet, he has more than one woman. That is a fact. So I'm, I'm not against okay. it. Okay, so if you're a woman and you prioritize loyalty, sexual exclusivity, not loyalty, because like I said, male loyalty is different than female loyalty. I am completely loyal to my woman. I can be completely loyal to all my women at once. I'm completely loyal because I fix all their problems and I tolerate them and go out with them and deal with all their crap. So I'm very loyal. I don't think that's I'm the very loyal. definition of loyal. It is. Lana. No, but it is. But it is. That is the definition of masculine loyalty. But if we're going to talk about sexual exclusivity, if you're going to prioritize sexual exclusivity over all other things, that's fine. That is like prioritizing reliability of a car. Get a Nissan. But if you're going to prioritize the man's ability to fix your problems, his financial means, his looks, his ability to make you excited, his ability to make you have fun, his status, his fame. If you're going to prioritize those things all above sexual exclusivity, then get a Ferrari. Yeah, then you get fun. You get I, excitement. That's okay. life. You can't get it all. You okay, can't have it all. I have to be more specific. Okay, look. I'm totally for a guy being serious like with the woman, taking care of the woman. I get that. Okay. But what I'm against is a guy going out there um, and hurting women. Like, you know, women who look up to them, they like them and they just go with them like and, you know, the, the girl feels used and they don't like they don't take them seriously. I just think that that behavior is what I don't support. I feel like, OK, if you're going to have multiple girls and wives, whatever, like you should be committed to them. OK, so you agree with multiple wives. Yeah, I obviously because, you know, I'm Muslim. I really as long as so there's I transparency. Feel like, I feel like, you know, um, a guy taking care, if he has the potential to take care of more than one woman, um, it's acceptable, but I don't believe that a guy should start like playing games with women. Well, I don't you know think it's I mean. about playing games. I don't. A lot I, of guys are doing this for okay, fun. Okay, but women women are sovereign individuals, and if they decide to be with a man, if they're a full grown adult, they decide to be with a, with a man, right? You, we, we can't be. I don't want to be misogynistic here. But I don't a lot want to be guys a misogynist. Are, like deceitful. They uh, they they really trick women. They well, say a lot of things. They say things they that aren't bring. true. Yeah, and I don't agree with women that. do the same to men. Not all women. Of course, not all women. Not all men. That, that's human nature. That's my point. That's human nature. But we're discussing the specifics, and I'm just trying to make the point that women who say, I want a man who's loyal, that matters most to me, that's doable and that's fine. If you sacrifice a bunch of other qualities. But if you don't sacrifice those qualities, the kind of man you are looking for is never going to be loyal. You have to make a choice. And I use the car analogy because it's to me, it's so simple. I don't know what the confusion is. If you prioritize reliability, you get a Nissan. If you prioritize performance, get a McLaren. You cannot have both. Your McLaren might be a little bit reliable and the Nissan might have a little bit of performance, but you cannot have Nissan reliability and McLaren performance in one vehicle. That is against the laws of nature. It's against physics. It's against reality. Now, you must choose. I'll jump in. I, I definitely like agree to a certain extent what you're saying, but... Why not just be transparent about it? Well, you, me, you, there are women out there that would agree yeah, to would. this. And I know you I've can seen be. It. You can be. But I'm not saying the point is it's about me specifically. You can be. And I'm not even going to tell you whether I am transparent or not transparent. I'm just talking about in general. You can be transparent. That's up to you. It's, it's up to every man who decides what they want to do. And but it's I, so much more peaceful. You know what I mean? Cool. Because like, the girl is totally happy. She'll start hanging out with your other wife or your other girl. And they become best friends. And, you know, life is less stressful because you Agreed. can go out. Agreed. But the actions, my point is that the actions are not dependent upon transparency. The actions are going to take place anyway if you have that kind of man, whether he's transparent or not or whether you accept it or not. That's just how it's going to be. So but I'm, would you be transparent? That's our question. I don't lie. I'm not a liar. But I'm not also going to sit my woman down and go, hey, it's 9 a.m. By the way, I'm going to do this today. No, like, no, no. If so, she so if your girl you, says, hey, Andrew, like, uh, who's this uh, chick? Oh, yeah I, yeah, I was with her a few days ago. Don't worry about it. Don. 